Hey, I'm Todd. Welcome to Request Metrics. In this episode, we're going to take our .NET Core build and deploy it to our Linux servers with Team City Automation. What the fuck is this? Okay, um, so we want to do a new project, right? How do I do that again? Is there in here? Create build configuration. So this is going to be deploy. Uh, so this is just manually, I think. Yep. Right, and so this will be. So maybe let's do that. How do we want to do this deploy? Mm. Well, one little thing is if you change that build configuration type, you can call it a deployment, which I did for a few things. As far as I know, the only thing that changes is the run button becomes a deploy button. Which I like, <laughs> which I like at least we're semantically relevant. Uh, okay, so the artifact paths, we don't care about. Uh, so let me save this. We do need to create a dependency. Yeah, so he will pull an artifact dependency uh, get artifacts from last successful build is fine. You gotta select your oh, yeah, dependency. Oh, yeah, I got a dependency. There request metrics build. Uh, and isn't it like, I want all of them. Uh, I show it's publish, fat arrow, publish. Yes, that's yeah. what I see. Here so. again? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know what happens if you don't specify, but. That's fine. That does work according to the things I'm looking okay. at. Okay, no, that's good. That's fine. Uh, okay, so now we have this publish folder. Right, mm -hmm. and we want to. Uh, do we want to zip it and then send it, or do we want to just send it, or what do we want to do? Um, my experience with like, if we're going to use like uh, WinSCP or something like that, is that it's faster uh, overall if you do a light like tar it together or zip it together first. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you just get tons of like chatter with ending and starting new files. Okay. So that's uh, that's why I'm keeping this guy open in his his own. Zone tab here. Okay, command line, compress artifact, script. Okay, run within a Docker container. I don't think we need that. Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay. Huh, I like how it knows that you actually need something. Like, I think that's kind of cool. Like, that's kind of a neat feature. Add build step. So, this is going to be. SSH upload. Step name is SSH upload. SCP is good. Request metrics right there. You guys like, should we abbreviate RM? Do you want to do like request metrics? What do you get? What? I think just one word. RM, I think, is. Yeah. It means weird things. Now, do we want to? I guess we don't really know how this is going to work yet, but probably putting it in a temp folder is a good idea no matter what. So we're going to need a key. Yes, yeah, so we need a key. I don't remember. Where are those keys? Let me, sa Let me save this here. What did you not save? Fine. Um, do we want to upload a key? I mean, ultimately, Team City will need to know about the RSSH key in order to get into this box. I agree. So there is a thing. For, so if you go to uh, like go to the request metrics project config screen, okay. Like yep. this. And then there's a SSH keys. Ooh. And maybe we can just Ooh. give it to it. We're gonna call this request metrics, baby. We're gonna choose this file, and I already have it, of course, because we did our DevOps work yesterday. Which is cool, and woo, 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 woo. <laughs> well, it's, it's too easy. It's not over yet. It's Come too on. easy, guys. Okay, so back in here, we're gonna choose. This. Oh, that is the, oh, that is the tits. All right. Um, I didn't really check. I assume that thing that we did in the last one makes a deploy dot. Made, made a tar. I believe it does. Yes. Okay. So let's, let's. I guess we should look. So he just puts it right there. Yep. Okay. So that makes sense. 
Okay. Now, I think what we're doing here is we're just zipping the publish folder. Yep. So when we unzip it, it will also unzip a publish folder. Uh, so let's call this. Um, what do you guys want to call this step? S sort of deploy and swap, copy and swap? Yeah. Target is going to be dev rm1.request.net. Uploading. This will get real irritating if we've got more servers. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to have to figure we'll out. We'll look and see if we can do a list or something. I don't know. Mm. We'll cross the bridge when we get to it. OK, uh, upload key, root, passphrase. OK, so that all looks good. We can get in So there's here. a bunch of NPM stuff that we don't need, or some. So okay, so we're making some durs that we're then. And then we're extracting everything into that dir, and then we are moving to that dir. We're installing the dependencies. So I'm gonna, which we won't I'm gonna need pump to this. We'll fix these directories later. We, we just... change chmod seven five five. So this is an X for what? Um, all the directories become seven five five. All the files become six four four. Okay. Which we're actually need to change that main file to a seven five five as well. Because we got to make the, we got to make that thing executable. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so then, and then what do we do? And then we rimraf app. So this must be where it actually lives. And then we move everything and deploy to app. and then clean up after ourselves. And clean up after ourselves. So that's a, that's which, a, it seems. Yeah. Which, by the way, all those say console js. No, I know. So I'm going to clean those up now. I yeah, just, yeah. Like, okay. But the general, the general thing seems okay, right? Like this, this plan. The only thing I maybe don't love is sort of a bummer that we have that extra app directory, but I know why we do. What extra app directory? Because we actually host the app out of the app folder, not out of request mm. metrics itself. Yeah. Um, but that makes the swapping easier, right? Well, and the other reason that I think we did that is so that we can keep logs in that same directory. Yeah. So I think it's I think it's fine, and it's consistent at least with everything else we do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that should work. Okay. Then we we'll... got to do a plus X or something. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I just want to make sure I didn't miss any. Let's just do a yeah, new yeah, line yeah, that yeah. does like just does the the change mod. Plus X, like specifically. Yeah, and so I don't think you even need to do any of that fine stuff. Yeah, we just want to do, uh, and then what's the plus here for? That's the command it's doing, or something. I don't know. That's that, is that I don't know if that has to do that. With that fine. was a that was a a Linux incantation that I worked out at one point. Uh, I felt like there was a reason I did it, but I can't remember what that reason was. I'll leave it here for now just to see. Um, and then what are we, what is the actual, what's the actual output file call? I don't even remember. Requestmetrics.web. And it's going to be inside a publish folder. Yep. Because we, we just compressed the whole folder. Somewhere along the line, we need to pull the guts out of publish. Well, do you want to make the tar one level less then? That might be that... that might be the way to go. Let's okay. So let's let's try that. Let's let's see. So so the idea here in a in a perfect world is that we could do that. Mm -hmm. So let's save that. Let's see then if we wanted to go back here. No, you actually you need to change the order. Sorry. Oop. You need to put. Oh, yeah, because it's going to smash. Because you're, oh. you're, you're going to. The following line will smash your permission again. Very nice. Yes. Very nice. Okay. So this guy is seven zipping, tar, everything. Do we want to do. You just publish, put publish after yeah. that. Slash. Yeah, look at that. I see that works. So 50 50 this works? 10 to 90? What do we think? Yeah, let's rip it and see so what happens. Rip it and rip it. Hit it. Oh, uh, let's see. Where's, where's my build queue? There he is. Mm, mm. We'll see. Skeptical. Did it compress? Okay, so it compressed the right stuff. Everything is okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good. It, mm. it did upload, load. How long did that take? A second? A second. That's pretty fast for 100 MBs. Mmm. Mm, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, yep, yeah, because we don't have a destination that exists so yet. We, we wanna, kind we, of expected it. It's sort of an Ansible thing. Should, well, should, do we want to make Derpy this thing, or do we want to... For the sake of, like, completing this task, let's just make that and see this work. And then kind of in our next step, I think we need to do some server setup. Okay. Request metrics app. So he's there. All right, run you again. <laughs> Deploy button, I like that. Ooh, I like that. Uh, so I'm gonna no look this thing and just assume that it worked. Oh, run it, run it, run it, run it, run mm -hmm. it. Oh, look it, we did it. Man, now, it's, now again, we had the same problem we ran into yesterday where it's on local host and not. Yep, which is but, incorrect. But it runs. It does run.